let's uh you okay to get started yeah, yeah of course all right so you're adele right mm -hmm. it says so here so probably nice good question yeah. solid start all right now i'm gonna ask your level but it's 240 something yeah i just hit uh 250 last night actually hey um, congrats yeah thank you thank you my first one hey now you're like one seventh of the way experience wise to 275 or something <laughs> like that. yeah yeah i think it's like what uh, a couple of years of playing 20 hour, 20 hours a day so yeah, yeah, yeah should I be mean, good. And then you're like, oh, and then you're one eleventh of the way of getting to two, uh, getting to three hundred. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So you're like almost one point two percent of the way there. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. for adults, like <laughs> cut in half. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. might be actually. Yeah. Yeah. I heard yeah, the mobbing yeah, is quite yeah, good. Patched in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty close actually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're welcome. Um. So how are you liking Adele so far? Oops, my audio just went out. My bad. Hold on. Oh. Hello, hello. All right, all right. I'm, I'm back. still Sorry here. About yeah. That. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we're fine. Solid. All right. Um. So you bumped it up to 250. What are you enjoying the most? Uh. Well, I play Maple just to you know do the bosses. Uh. I have like a, like a small group of IRL friends that like we're. We've been playing for a while, but we just came back like um, during the first uh, terror burn in the summer. So we started doing like a, like a boss progression series kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, I like you know fighting boss. Wait, hold on, sorry. Give me one second. Let's go through his equips a little bit. I saw some good stuff already. I'm so sorry. Um, How dare you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. It's, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, right now we were doing, uh, we, we just finished Will. Uh, it was actually a pretty big challenge. It took like a couple of days of practice, but mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping to move on to something like, you know, H Will and H, uh, H uh, no, no, not H Will, uh, H Lucid and then H Lotus and H uh, Damien first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think typically people do hard will before hard lotus, though. But yeah, 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 yeah. kind of depends. I've, yeah, so I've pra we've practiced uh, each of them besides H will because mm -hmm. you know kind of a little bit uh, still a little bit of PTSD from the practice, but from normal. Yeah, yeah, you have to yeah, from normal. You have to basically be able to do normal almost without needing to use your moonlight pretty much at all. Uh -huh. before you could move on because hard is not that much i mean yeah it's more hp and some of the attacks do a little bit more damage but it's roughly the same the main thing is that your moonlight recovers at like less than half the speed or something and that's that's the main problem like in phase two you're healing way uh less often in phase one you're not able to switch between the dimensions as often so you have to like mitigate your you, you have to use that way better. And then in phase three, you have to really use it to cleanse the webs, especially if it's a longer bo longer boss fight in phase three. Um, mm -hmm. And if people start dying out like halfway through, then it snowballs into getting worse and worse. If people die out in two because you miss a bunch of phases, then in phase three, you'll have way less web cleanses going on and then it, it'll start like moving in on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like right now, I'm, I'm not even like thinking about each will kind of, because I want to... Like do uh, the bosses, uh, you know, like one by one. So I want to practice H Lucid after this. I see. And then go into like H Damien and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So I I just like bossing. So that's what I've been pretty much been doing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually like saving up. I have like around thirty bill right now for uh the five ten fifteen. So that's why a lot of my items are, uh, like you know, hard stuck fifteen. Uh, how much you say you have? I have around thirty bill. Okay. Been, yeah. I haven't really been farming on Akana, but I've just been leveling with Meso Gear. But uh, yeah, I should, mm -hmm. I think, start uh, training on my Kana or something, something like that, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you feel it's, uh, that's necessary to get past a certain point, um, I guess we'll we'll get to that within the, the session, I'm guessing. And how's all mm -hmm. the, so, okay, so that those are the bosses, and then what's the, like, the final goal for the character? You're just taking it one boss at a time, or do you have like a specific goal in mind? Yeah, I mean, Black Mage is unrealistic, but uh, I am trying to take it one boss at a time. Like, hopefully, I somehow get to, like, Varus Hilla in the future, like, if I'm still playing. But 
-hmm. obviously i can't say yeah my definite goal is like varus hilla but i do want to um get to the farthest boss i could you know something like that yeah mm -hmm. yeah I, I think with all the with all the changes and uh you know like more upgrading and stuff i think ferris hill uh, is probably like doable but there is a there's like that five level increase every time right you want to like 255 for ferris hill 260 for gloom 265 for dark nail kind of thing so that you don't mm -hmm. lose too much damage in the uh in the switch up yeah, yeah, yeah for sure so yeah i will uh i mean with like the new uh the new area coming out i'm probably mm -hmm. gonna try to train again yeah Try to get around there. Am I? I feel like I'm. Five my high six six nine seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, no. Because I was looking at your uh, your symbol for your legion. I was like, is that still silver at five k? But I guess I haven't leveled my legion in so long that. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I want to get that to six uh, k. But mm -hmm. I, I was also gonna ask you about that, like priorities like um what should i do first i guess like with my time because mm -hmm. you know we have a finite amount of time every day i, I just want to figure out like what i should be doing first like i'm not even completely done with my uh with my uh links honestly i think because mm -hmm. i don't i'm missing like ab and kadena i don't know how important important that is for uh, adele but i think adele, uh kadena is pretty good right yeah i'd be probably as well with your combination now of the storm and the uh summons bloom combo plus your um let me see if i can remember all the names infinity blade plus ruin if you can like get your um angelic buster link off and like squeeze all of those in at least in like your initial burst that really helps you uh capitalize on that Huh. I guess ideally you start your storm a little bit earlier so you can already resummon your hunting decrees, right? Uh, I would, yeah, I would guess so that you can use both of them during the the burst. Uh huh. So I think it's you try to get eight swords up and then you use uh or six I think and it just beats ruin, uh DPS. So you just put out storm and then you uh start putting out some other swords because they give you two. Yeah, exactly. And then the bind happens, then the AB, then the other skills, and then the extra skill to... the What is that that wing skill? I haven't used that one yet because I don't have the room uh, for it. Yeah, Legacy Restoration, I think. Yeah, and then you can use up to eight swords, right? Uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And then you, yeah, then you pop it up to eight, Infinity Blade, all that stuff. Yeah, the Angelic Buster will definitely help in that. Uh, might be a little bit more of a min maxi thing for burst, but I mean you're already at 250, so you're already looking at uh, some more things heavier on the on the min max side rather than just like oh I need this for you know to have a better chance against Seavel or something. We're completely at a different <laughs> stage here. So you've soloed everything up to to like Lotus and Damien, I'm guessing, and then mm -hmm. yeah, I could solo uh, uh, everything up to uh, Lucid and Will, I think. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, solo them, but... <laughs> like easy uh, lucid? Uh, easy? I actually haven't tried. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I've been using... I'm either practicing, like, um, the hard bosses or uh, just training, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not on, like, too too much every day, but, like, the past week, I've been grinding 250, so I've been on, like, a couple hours a day. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, but, but now I'm... Uh, after well, I've been waiting for the 17th, so I'm gonna like my plan was I'm gonna farm as much as I possibly can, and then see where I'm at after because I have pretty bad luck with star forcing. I, I, it's realistic that I could you know get like no 20 star items, so I, I gotta see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So general priorities. Um, your matrix is that's like 100% figured out, I believe, right? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I just unlocked another slot and I just put combat orders in there. I'm not exactly sure, like, which is the best, um, you know, like, warrior fifth drop node for Adele. So I just put in, like, I know weapon war is really good, so I put it in there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the other ones, I, uh, I, I kept, the, like, the defense thing where you get, like, three times, th uh, three times five, I think. So, like, 15% overall damage if you get hit five times with the, the shield thing. But oh, I don't yeah. even know if that's good. Mm -hmm. The yeah, impenetrable yeah. skin? Yeah, I have, I have no clue like which one's the best, so I just yeah, I just, uh, it's either it it's either like min maxi when you're really just running out of things to put in, or if you have a boss that knocks you 
back, uh, locks you down, and you don't have knockdown resistance, and you want to be able to not get like knocked out of range and stuff. That's when impenetrable skin can be nice. But other than that, yeah, it's just a min maxi thing at the end to do just a little bit extra damage. Uh -huh. It doesn't really work with uh, you know like lotus push, right? Or yeah, it works like with that. lotus push. Yeah, with lotus push, oh. will push, for example. So you can use it in some phases, like. Uh, let's say that you go into phase two of Will, for example, and then in the beginning he's bound and you burst him and it's whatever, and then he gets unbound, then you can push impenetrable skin so you don't get pushed into the webs and to the side and everything. Um, or, you know, if there was a phase and you're kind of just like waiting for the test to spawn, um, and he's getting like in a dangerous position where he might push you, then you can pop impenetrable skin for to at least be knocked down resistant for a while. Uh, the blue swipe from Magnus, those kind of things, that those are all knocked down, that it will help you immune. I mean, you still take damage, of course, but you won't get knocked. I mean, that's really good. I mean, for a Lotus... Yeah, uh, it doesn't have a super long duration, though, so it's pretty... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, not great um, coverage time. <laughs> but yeah, if you do stand in a boss during the burst and stuff, you get a bunch of extra percentage damage from it. So yeah, it's not the best skill, but it definitely has its uh, its moments and its utility. I guess if you're... Which one? I'm skin. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Uh, if you're mobbing, um, have you tried using conversion overdrive instead of uh, weapon aura? Um, usually, when I'm bossing, I you know take out the exp node and then uh, take out holy symbol, and uh, I put in uh, the, those two, mm -hmm. um, the grandest goddess blessing and the conversion overdrive. Mm -hmm. I actually, not gonna lie, I tried using conversion overdrive because I was having trouble with uh, the lucid spawns in uh, normal. I couldn't kill them fast enough. Mm -hmm. I feel like, it, like so, I was using conversion overdrive, but I feel like it. I, I didn't know what it did. Like it didn't. It fe I felt like it didn't do anything. So, I like haven't been really using it. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't even know what it does. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it, so it, when you pop it, it gives you percentage damage buff based on your MP percentage that you have. So like active MP out of total MP, basically, and like the higher, okay. if that's 100, percent then you get the max percentage bonus that's mentioned on the skill i think if it's max it goes up to like 40 percent or something it's not Wait, that's pretty good it's not okay. that bad but then every and then every now and then um it will create an explosion like around the map right that, that kills some stuff but then whenever an explosion happens it resets the percentage again to to look at your um so i think if you max it oh it's actually it goes even higher so 60 second duration damage increases up to 50% depending on the current MP proportions. And then the damage okay. increase resets when a spell storm occurs. So that's those explosions that activate. Uh, Pretty gross. Uh, yeah, storm damage is 1100% three attacks. Uh, but then every time it goes off, it resets that percentage. So you want to keep your MP up uh, as high as possible. Wow. But yeah, it goes up to 50% extra damage. Which can actually, okay. which can be really nice. But yeah, at the lower levels, if it's what well, yours like level six, then it's twenty six percent. Still nice, but <laughs> then you know if it resets when you're at half MP, it's only thirteen percent. If the explosion only hits, like just lose it or just like then the skill itself doesn't do all too much. But I think for mobbing, it can provide a little bit more extra coverage than weapon aura, because weapon aura just like shoots in a straight line in front of you where all of your skills are already hitting most of the time. Um, talked about this yesterday or two days ago as well. Like I feel like weapon art just kind of either you KS it or it KSs you. Like those monsters were already gonna die a lot of the time. Okay. Uh, I think it's For better. Mobbing. Yeah, like with like super old uh, um like super old Kishin that was like even way faster. It made a little bit more sense there because sometimes you'll attack and then they respawn uh -huh. immediately and then the weapon aura flow through them and then they would kill again. That kind of makes okay. sense, but since the respawn is a little bit slower, I think Weapon Aura is more of a min-maxi thing during boss burst, just for the extra final damage and the IED. Um, yeah, especially in like hard lucid phase two, because like the Weapon Aura half the time won't even hit because she'll just fly around and then yeah, might even miss. Um, <laughs> but for phase one, it's useful, right? Because straight line through the golems as well, hit some extra golems. Um, for for phase one, it could be useful, yeah. Um, don't know if it would be more useful than conversion overdrive, possibly. But for mobbing, I would uh, try conversion overdrive and see if you see some distances, some some differences. You might see some monsters like randomly around the map die, but I guess you already see that with the swords flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it might be hard to distinguish like which skill is killing what. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to make your rates like visibly go higher, but I think it's worth a try. 
Yeah, I mean, it would probably help because I'm in VC3 right now and my swords definitely do not one hit. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Are you going up to VC3? So, you're getting a lot of familiars now? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, I think I we were talking about it, but I have like nine unique familiars and they're all useless. So, <laughs> yeah, so it's not going too well, but. <laughs> red, red cards, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh -huh, for sure. That please. would be good for you, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. They're just sitting in my yeah. They just sit there, yeah. just mm -hmm. sitting there. So, uh, is there at least one? Yeah. Do they at least give like five percent crit rate or something, <laughs> or like nah, anything at all? They give me everything's int. Like <laughs> oh, I get int, okay. and uh, one of them I got auto steal. Actually, that's pretty good. But it's like oh, yeah, two percent, so I don't know how much that helps me. But if I you mean, use it while mobbing, you could get more mezzos because of that. So. I have that one in, and then two rare familiars next to it with item drop, so that's mm -hmm. good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you have two with item drop, then um, the one with the highest percentage will be activated. Oh, yeah? Uh, what if they're the... Oh, snap. What if they're, like, the same, then? Then only one of them. Like, if you look oh, in the no. top right and you have both of them out, you probably already only see one buff, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, that's just okay, because they're the same. Yeah, they don't stack. Oh, no. All right. So you could take out, so, if you have another familiar that has equal or more defense, if you take that one out instead, then you can lower the, the gauge bar depletion instead okay. for a little bit more value. I learned. All right, I'll take, I'll take the other one out. Yeah, I made this one recently because it is really confusing and all of the lines and we don't really know what they do and everything. So I made this, um, this thing um, a little bit ago. It's, I mean, maybe it needs some color now that I see it. <laughs> it looks a little bit bland, but... <laughs> um, these are like all the familiar lines and this is how much they do. And then it talks about the stacking and everything. So it'll basically give you the highest percentage of any source. Um, so item drop rate, item acquisition is seen as its own separate thing, but it's only on unique and it's only 10%. But this, this can stack with item drop rate, but all the other ones that have meso drop rate or item drop rate are seen as two separate things. Even though item drop rate includes everything, including meso drop rate. So meso drop rate is like a a more spe specified way of increasing your drop. Um, but if you, so if you technically have something that gives you, um, let's say 40% item and meso drop rate, and then something that gives you 60% only meso drop rate, for example, then you would see two buffs. And then from the 40% one, only the item drop rate would be working. And then from the 60%, the meso drop part would uh, be working. So that's when you would see two. I see. So you see, see one because they're trying to do the same thing. So only one of them is active basically. So, uh, yeah, and if you get Epic on Unique, something like increases item and meso drop rate by a large amount, that'd be really good, or increases item drop rate by a large amount. Because at that point, you have so much drop rate in your uh, kit as well, that your meso drop rate is already at 100%. Like, you can't get more than one bag. So, yeah. looking for something that has meso drop rate on it isn't necessary anymore. Yeah, but imagine getting, like, a useful line, right? From, like, an Epic or Unique familiar. Yeah, that'd be... Without red cards. That'd be so... Wait, so you have nine... Uh, nine uniques, that means that on Epic and Unique, they were both useless. So you got like 18 useless lines so far, at least. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and it talks about also, stacking with the coupons and stuff as well. So kind of like, what is the ideal situation? Would be like this much. So it would be like 464% drop rate with plus 20% from the Greed Pendant. That would be like the highest uh, ideal situation. Like okay. realistic is more like when you're training like 244 plus the Greed Pendant and Bossing 344. That'd be like the ideal situation, but... Uh, so you'd put, you, you'd like uh, slap a Legion drop rate coupon on it with like a 100% drop familiar, right? Basically, and have 200% drop. Yeah, so like I, the best. for, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Legion coupon, a familiar with, um, uh, with large, oh, actually, wait. Yeah, I did, I could did large, um, Item and meso. Actually, I did the wrong one here. Yeah, you're right. Um, I should do this one. I actually didn't even see the second page. I just scrolled down. No, oh, there you go. <laughs> Boom. Uh, familiar. I don't know why I used the other one. I mean, it's an ideal situation. Then we should pick the, the higher one. You're right. So it'd be even more. Damn, you can get so much drop rate. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be so the coupon, large drop rate, item acquisition. That's already 160. Then 200 from your equips. That's a hard cap. Yeah. So that'd be 360. 384 for this. 404 with the inner ability. 424. 
and then oh I did I did I did count the oh I did count the 100 I just copy the wrong one oh, I see yeah so 464 with the equip yeah because <laughs> yeah apparently in KMS they have a plus 300 percent cap so you can get 200 from your equips and then 100 from everything else together but they don't have familiars and stuff so it seems that from people that have tested it just keeps going and keeps going so that's nice but I heard it's like um it scales like ID though right so it's not really 464 or, or is it or is it you know um yeah it's kind of hard to tell um in this in the same way that when it's multiplicative it has reducing um re like a lower lowering returns it, kind of the same way with additive right um because yeah. you won't really feel that when you're already at 400 and you go from 400 to 420 percent it's going up, but it's not going up by 20%. It's going up by 20% of your total batch of 500%. So you're only increasing it by 4% of your current. So if you look at it as a proportion to how much you already have, um, it, there is like quote unquote decreasing returns as well, which kind of makes it work in the same way that, that, yeah, that IED does. Yeah, you don't really feel too much after a certain point. Well, they could have made IED like additive in the same way, but then gave the given the bosses like like sixty thousand percent PDR or something, right? And then it would basically be the same system. Be like, oh, you can build six hundred percent IED, but then just give way more defense to the bosses so that you still have to <laughs> ignore like way more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Like, I see like the ID formula, and I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I mean, big like. Had to, had to explain it to me like I'm five. Big sources are better, so that's it. That's all I know. Um, I could try to explain it if you want to, since we're on a subject anyway. Uh, okay, sure. Um, basically, any line of IED gives you that percent of the how big the line is of how much you still need to get to 100% from where you are. Okay. So if you're at 80%, you're short 20% to get to 100 you add a line of 20%, you add 20% of that missing 20%, which is 4%, you go from 80 to 84. That's it. Yeah. That makes, yeah, okay. That makes more sense than the formula I saw. Mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, if you see the numbers, it's like plus one, minus 100, and then it starts like doing some weird shit, and you're like, um, <laughs> it, it makes sense mathematically, but if you look at it, it's like, what is this? <laughs> But yeah, what does it mean uh, for me? <laughs> like, how, yeah. do I, how do I? Like, okay. Yeah. I put in the Lumi link and it went up by uh, like 5%. Okay, great. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's why. It, yeah. So from the same example, if you go back. So if we had another line of 20%, right? We're at um, 84 now. We had another line of 20 out of the 16% we're missing. So 20 of 16 is 3.2%. So we go to 87.2. But if we take it back and we go back to the beginning stage of 80%, and we add one line of 40 instead of two separate of 20, then we add 40% of the 20% we're missing, which is 8%, and then we go from 80 to 88. So the, the end result between using one line of 40 versus two lines of 20 is that we end up with 88% versus 87.2%. All right. And there's to the I, efficiency. I, yeah, I get it now. Uh -huh. So bigger chunks, because since all of them are calculated separately, and not because of not based on some wild base of like 10% that was was once in the past that makes large percentages always more efficient not only because you know they just have greater impact but also one line of 40 only takes up one line whereas two lines of 20 takes up two lines so you're missing an entire line that could be doing something else as well so because of two, those two reasons we want to look for those huge chunks so that's like your hyperstat chunk your IED chunk, familiars with a huge amount, and also primarily for IED that doesn't necessarily go at the expense of any other big source of damage. So we're thinking percentage attack and percentage boss damage and everything. It's cool in the beginning, to, you know, your emblem gets a lot of value out of having a line of IED there. But if you can roll out of that in, you know, and lose like some stats somewhere else, but you can gain the line of attack possibly on your emblem instead, that's always a trade you want to make, right? Actually, I went from 80% IED on my emblem to a uh, three line attack. So I've actually been struggling to like, um, I've been stuck at like 90% ID. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, visual or the functional percentage? I think it's visual. Mm -hmm. That's Not, what you see in your stat window? You, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Without my nodes and uh, 
stuff like that. So yeah, uh, so I, I make the distinction that. between visual and functional because and then functional being like if you hit a monster with your skill, how much IED is being applied versus mm -hmm. what do you see in your stat window? Because your stat window basically is the game calculating if you hit anything with any skill, this is how much ID is going to go through. Or this okay. is how much like penetration you have to the boss's armor, basically, to put it really simple. Um, but of course, certain skills can have specific buffs. Bosses can have debuffs. Um, and you can have temporary buffs up that you don't always have, like, like Weapon Aura, for example. So if you want to optimize how much ID do I need versus how much boss damage versus how much attack, you need to look at what kind of ID can I apply? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reliably, right? Like what is functionally always being output versus what is the game saying that if I use like a first job skill on a, on an elite monster somewhere um, versus I'm in hard will, I'm using my main attacking skills, like is that the same IED? So you want to always calculate your functional IED to know where what do you need to be working on and what is what is required. So if you see 90 visual, for some classes, that means they literally have 90% because there's like nothing else going on. Maybe they have a 9% from the Explorer Mages. So it like barely goes up to almost 91, right? 9% of the 10% missing is 0 yep. 0.9. So it goes to 90.9. So you get only, almost get 1% there. Um, wow. But for some classes, 90 visual means that effectively they're at like 98.8 .8 or something. Because of some classes have like 30% in their main attack, 20% boost node, a 30% debuff, another 20% passive. You add all of those up and you get really, really high. So for your class specifically, I feel like Adele does very well. That rhymed. Um, but it's important to make sure like how well you're doing. Because once you get closer to the end game, and, that, and this is when the defense comes in. If a boss just has 100% defense and you have a certain percentage of IED, it makes sense like, oh, I have 90%. Uh, d uh, defense ignore, he has 100% defense, 10% of the defense is not ignored, he lowers my attack by 10% final damage, and that's it. And then basically how much ID you have is almost is also how much of your damage is being dealt as final damage. So it's like, oh, okay. you have 90%, yeah. But since the bosses go over 100% defense and they go up to 300%, that means that if you have 90% ID, you're not dealing 90% uh, final damage, you're dealing only 70%. Because instead of 10% of your damage not going through, it's three times that amount. It's 30% of your damage not going through. Does that make sense? I see. Yeah. So every 1% so, in IED you gain is 3% in final damage. And not even 3% of your current damage, but 3% of the total. So it's more than 3% actually, because you're doing less than 100% of your damage. So you're going from like 90% of your damage, or like 70% of your damage going through to 73. And then to 76. And then to 79 with every 1% of uh, IED you gain functionally over 90%. But every 1%, every single time you want to go up by 1%, it takes more resources. So there's a there's a tipping point where you're like, okay, I can go for 99 point something percent IED. But then you have no boss damage and no attack left. So you try to find that sweet spot with, uh, with all of the sources you have. Yeah. <laughs> but counting for Got that it. 300% defense, like that's the... The gold standard because like Helix is 250 and then everything from Damien Lotus and everything up all has 300%. So that's the number that we're uh, looking for. If things ever change and like the chosen Saren comes out and he has like 400 or 500% defense or something, this might change up a lot of calculations and people might have to roll into like another IED again, for example. Okay. Right? Because because the balance is off and an IED suddenly becomes more important. But it's a bit weird, right? Because it's like invisible damage. Uh -huh. But you'll notice when you're fighting a boss, like this is taken forever. Or the first time you hit a boss and you have like 60% IED and it's like, why, why am I seeing so many ones pop up? <laughs> What's going on here? Because it's just none of your damage is just penetrating the armor and you're just tickling the boss, basically. Yeah, I see. Is, is there like a... Like an ID, like functional ID, like sweet spot that you kind of want to be in, like from mid to end game? Yes. So that's why I have the uh, progression sheet that kind of keeps general track. Have you seen this one before? Uh, I think I have. Oh, I'm, I'm I've seen... zooming out a little bit. There we go. I've seen something like this. Oh, yeah, I, I actually have seen this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a functional ID, what you want to aim for. And that's taking into account the defense of the bosses and the general order of um, 
not order, general balance of attack ID and boss damage, and also taking into account stuff like certain size of legion, access to link skills, those kind of things, because a lot of your ID, boss damage, uh, critical rate, critical damage, all that stuff will all be coming from there as well. So yeah, granted the the access to all of the sources that you can have around that point, that's what kind of what you want to aim for. If you aim higher, then you might be cutting into your damage a little bit. If you aim lower, you'll also be cutting into your damage. So yeah, and it depends a little bit on team composition because zero came out now. Um, and zero will prob if you have a zero in your party, it will definitely lower this end amount because um, I don't know if you're familiar with zero and what they do. I'm still getting caught up on <laughs> like a yeah, <laughs> <laughs> trying to learn. But basically they can debuff a boss pretty much constantly and lower their defense by 50%, which basically gives you a 50% IED line. Okay. Which means, if you know, if you're functionally at 96, that means it takes you to 98, which is like, which is fantastic. Um, but if you're already at 99, it only takes you to 99 and a half, right? So yeah. um, it's almost the lower you are, the more efficient that is for you. So if you're like 90, like 95 functional, it takes you to 97 and a half. Like that's pretty, that's pretty damn good. So, um, or like a Palavin can do 30% debuff, but then for a certain duration, if they have the hyper skill, it also can do the 50%, like the, the threaten icon over their head. Um, Demon Slayers can do a 30%, uh, sorry, Demon Avengers can do a 30% debuff. So some of those um, teammates can help you. So it could be like, oh, if I'm by myself, my functional is like 40, 94, 95, like that's fine for all the bosses you can solo. But then if my party has more IED and that takes me up to like 97 to 98, like that's good. Like you don't really have to go like super high, like, oh no, I need 98 by myself for everything. Like, cause then, yeah, of course, if your team composition changes, then maybe, you know, so you want to be careful with, um, Basically, what I'm saying is like the more you optimize for a certain situation, the better you will be in that situation. But as soon as your situation changes, the more that might end up hurting you. I see. <laughs> kind of the thing, yeah. So that's when I talk about like the, the flames and the flame scores and everything. I try to go more by like what are the general ranges you're going to end up in and then what do you want the flame to be at that point? So how can you start prepping for that rather than what is the best for you right now? Because I saw you had the two cups, for example. And then yeah. if you calculate their flame score, they're, they're very, very close. And then one might be a little bit stronger now and one might be a little bit stronger later. And if you use the the flame score calculator, I think you'll... Have you thrown them into the calculator to see to see the numbers? Um, actually, I haven't. Okay. I, <laughs> this is what I do. I put on one of them and then the other one tells me it gives more damage. And then I, you know, like, mm -hmm. I don't know why, like, like, uh, like I'm buffed, like I'm fully buffed, and then the one that gave me more damage before doesn't give me more damage. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't. I I don't know why I didn't put it into the flame calculator. I just hoped that I would find a better one, like than those two. Then, yeah, yeah, enough know. better to just yeah. <laughs> settle the argument, like <laughs> the third yeah, dog I, uh, <laughs> getting a go running away with the bone kind of thing. Like, well, t these yeah, two are fighting. <laughs> yeah, because like I I see my friends on the, they're like mages and they like link me their pink bean cups and they're like miles better than mine. So I'm like, mm. should I like? these aren't that good so i'm just holding on to them right now and but uh i'm not very getting i'm not getting like good luck with pink bean so mm -hmm. uh, i'm probably just gonna use one of these for a while mm -hmm. also uh, the the yeah. so my black bean mark uh i was holding out for a pat mark for like <laughs> ever <laughs> for a while i don't know if i should scroll it but i mean i haven't done pap this week maybe it's the week right it's like i think eight weeks nine weeks in a row um, but uh, yeah, it's an I mean, increased could, drop yeah. rate, right? So, <laughs> I mean, I heard it's a 50 50, but yeah, yeah, every time you either get it or you don't, yeah, yeah, yeah I heard it. Exactly. <laughs> heard so, that so, I think this is the week, it's the coin flip week, you know. So. Yeah, so the, the reason that the pink holy cups, well, first of all, they're very, very close together, right? But the reason that it might switch when you switch gear is because the and that's kind of why the the flame score does what it does and why the the goals shift is because when your balance of all your stats shifts then the value of your individual stats that you gain shifts as well so you can think about the extreme example and say like okay let's say that i have a million stat and i have one percent all stat and the calculation is the same as it is now let's say i can add one percent all stat to that i would gain a lot of stat right 
mm -hmm. versus if I add like one, five stat to that, it barely makes a difference, right? Because it gets thrown into a way bigger pile. In the other yeah. situation where you have one stat and you have a million percent all stat, you look at how much value of one stat has there versus one percent, it's completely the other way around. So whenever you're closer to the middle, it's harder to predict, but it's still gonna have a similar response. And that's why when you, uh, so I'm guessing when you uh, are in damage gear, it's probably the, the one with 5% all stat probably is better. And then when you're in uh -huh. drop gear, the other one's better. Yeah, I mean, like, the farther you go, like, the more all stat is uh, better. Is, is is that the way, or? Yeah, the more all stat is better, and the lower the value your secondary stat will get. Okay. Because eventually what will happen is your, um, not by itself, but what will happen is your you will min max your percentages on your equip more and you will rely less on percentage all stat lines and more on percentage strength lines and those will then stop multiplying your decks and therefore your decks individually will will just get multiplied lower and just have yeah. a lower value that's true okay so Thanks. because of that combination the one cup has more decks than the other one and has fewer all stat so it's going to start like get, looking better in drop rate gear and worse and worse in damage gear, basically. But yeah, like okay. you said, eventually you want something that's significantly better than both so you can just stop fighting with these two. Um, but this <laughs> is like a perfect uh, Xenon cup, right? <laughs> that, that that second one. Because it's like 100, what is it, 120 stats plus 5% all stat. Like, if you get this on a Xenon, that'd be insane. Hey, man, if, the, if it's something I'm good at, it's getting uh, good lines for the classes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm good Very at that good. one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever ever caught one of my cubing sessions, but yeah, holy shit! I was, oh, what was the item I was cubing? Oh god, I think it was a ring. It was a ring on my Demon Avenger, and uh -huh. I just I roll. I think I only used like two hundred cubes in total, but I rolled thirty percent intellect three times, and even thirty three percent one time, and all the other stats at least twice, and I kept rolling them back to back to back, and I was like, I'm on a roll. Like I need. I, I'm going to get the HP too, right? Like it has to, and then I got it pretty quickly. But I've rolled so many other good stats. A lot of times you have like a long session and just every roll is just bad. Like nothing, even ro not for anyone, just everything is shit. But that one roll, like it all came together <laughs> for some reason. But I kept getting the int again. Yeah. I mean, I always tell people like, well, it's 75%. You know, if you're looking just at stat, it's like 75% chance that it's not yours, right? And 25 that it's yours. But why is it always why is the twenty five percent always the last? You know, <laughs> it's yeah, always it's the like, other the other three hit twice each, and then yours comes up. Like, mm, feels bad. I feel like when you when you roll it like once, like you're a warrior, roll int, and then you're like, damn, it can't get worse than this, or you get like three line int, and then it gives you like a three line like magic attack on your weapon or something. It's, um, oh yeah, I've rolled that one on my bad. weapon too. Yeah, I rolled thirty percent. <laughs> Magic attack twice on my emblem before I saw the weapon attack 30%. I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> it's always going to be like that. Have you, um, because you have two secondaries, right? And obviously one gives you way more range, but have you tried with both and seen if you see any difference in, uh, in the damage BA. output? Um, yeah, like a, like a BA or like how fast, the, well, how fast the boss is a little bit more subjective, of course, but I. No, I actually haven't. I should, I should though. Like, yeah, I should time it and see. But uh, yeah, I thought that I needed the uh, the IED on on for like the boss. So like when I'm when I'm like bossing, I like 100% take the uh, the uh, the top one. But, mm -hmm. uh, the second one, I was, I was trying to get three line attack because uh, I I uh, I'm, I'm not sure. But I heard from somewhere that three line attack will be better than like that amount of boss damage I have on the top. Uh, um, I'm not sure, but I heard. I, I think for Adele, yeah, because I think it. Well, it, so it mainly comes down to like once you get the 8K Legion, you get all your links. You know that you get the Lumi link coming in, you get the Explorer Mage coming in, and then you get the 40 chunk from your Legion. Um, those are all like huge already. Um, your ambition gives some ID. You know, there's a bunch of sources. Um, Monster Parker, uh, ba uh, Metal, <laughs> almost said huh. it. Um, that one, right? Um, yeah. Uh, and then familiars probably as well, right? In the beginning, it's probably just three fifteen percent ones until you get something better. But what if you, you know, if if the better familiar you get is also more IED, then that boosts you even more. Your boost nodes. Um, you have the grave proclamation as well, right? Which isn't as reliable, of course. Like if you just, <laughs> if the boss blinks, it's just gone. But um, at least during the bind, it should be active, right? Um. Yeah. I I uh, always try to put it up before the burst. 
Um, yeah, there are IED potions you could use for boss fights as well. Um, yeah, you don't have your hypers leveled up so far, but... The hyper yeah, because I... Uh, actually, I messed up. When I took that picture, I was uh, still still uh, training. So yeah, yeah. I, I, hypers yeah. are in EXP. Yeah, yeah I, I imagine it's like EXP <laughs> uh, damage and critical damage. Like, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, because you also had the boost node, the, ex the character building boost node in there, so it makes sense. Um, and you also have the passive hyper skill, right? The, I think it's 20% extra? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, the hyper, yeah, the hyper skill. Yeah, so, uh, and these are basically all the sources that, I, that, like I mentioned before, where these are sources that don't go at the expense of that much other damage. And those are the ones you want to extort for as much ID as possible so that on your WSE, you can just go hard attack. Because even if you can get attack percentage on any of the other ones, it doesn't even come close, right? Oh, you're familiar? Oh, what do you want to get? Like 3% attack or a stack of 30% ID? Like, give me the ID there so I can get a line on WSE where it's 9% or 10% instead. Like, it's so much more yeah. efficient there, right? So yeah. this is this could be definitely very, very solid secondary and maybe even up until you reach the end game for certain, for certain bosses in certain situations. But when you're min-maxing later, you're seeing that AK Legion and you're seeing hopefully finally some good familiars. Uh, uh -huh. Once you redo <laughs> all of those sources and readjust those properly, you'll still functionally get up to like, I think you can functionally as an Adele probably hit 95, maybe even 96 without like a line on your WSE. So okay, I'm pretty right. sure that's possible, but you will have to fully, yeah, fully exploit all the other possible sources. Maybe your ID and your hyperstat even goes up to 12 or 13 or something, you know, um, versus the other ones. But that's, and like I said before in the, in the past sessions, that's always more flexible. You could just click reset and reclick it, but like just redoing your secondary or something or just recubing re your emblem or something, that's not a thing you just do. We're talking about hundreds of billions here versus, you know, 10 mil to click your hyperstats. Um, Got it. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah, you, there is also a chance that you get like boss or crit from your legendary inner ability, something like that. Oh, so. yeah. I wouldn't bet on that, but <laughs> yeah. I actually failed like the last three fifty percent. So I I was hoping I didn't have to do your method where, I mean, the smart method where you mm -hmm. buy the Cirques, but I'm about to just buy the Cirques and look for a better second line because I mm -hmm. can't get 20% crit. And it's actually kind of, it's kind of, it's so Not hard that great yeah it's because i'm using two crit links right now mm -hmm. crit chance links with like all the crit chance legions obviously they're not 200 but i'm using crit chance legions and crit chance links and i feel like uh, my damage would like go up so much if i didn't have to because i'm using the the marksman the, Bo the bowman links and the the phantom link so mm -hmm. and the and the beast tamer link so i mean yeah using all three yeah mm -hmm. if i just got 20 percent crit I, I would be able to take out like the phantom link you know so, mm -hmm. or the or the the marksman thing. So, it's, but it's so hard. I don't know. It's I feel like I I should just spam circulators at it or something. <laughs> uh, it could be very very expensive. I've seen the the like the 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 unique tier crit rate line on second or third once so far, and I've I've rolled my fair share in in my days. Huh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I always tell the story, like, during 50% offs between my DA and my Marksman, um, I've cumulatively rolled um, around 7 million honor experience. Never seen it. By, like, locking the other two lines. That's quite a lot of quite a lot of rolls. Yeah. Um, I saw it once with circulators. Uh, no, not with circulators. With re-rolling. But it, but it wasn't the 20%, so I didn't recognize it immediately. But it was a 15% line. I was like... But I already clicked it. Yeah, I was I'll like... Take that. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. take 10%. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's <laughs> exactly like over the years, that's become my I'll take 10%, dude. On my hero, I rolled over 10%. So I was like, never settle. And I was like, oh, I should have settled. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, <laughs> but no. on my Adele, I hit a circulator that had 20% boss and 10% critical rate. So I was like, oh, yeah. So I kept okay. that one. <laughs> that's what my Adele's rocking and probably is going to keep forever. Because um, uh -huh. I heard that. Um, between the 20% chance skip cooldown and 20 boss, I feel like it's pretty close from what I heard. Uh -huh. I'm not 100% sure, so... I mean, I guess if it's pretty close, that's good enough for me. I'm not that yeah. min-maxi, so... <laughs> yeah, I like the I see you on your uh, Adele doing a monster park, so... Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the uh, Dream Defender now, every now and then. 
Mm -hmm. But I didn't have my Legion yesterday, so I wasn't even going to attempt <laughs> without the... Yeah, I'm like using all my guild skills to push floor 60. And then, yeah, I could go without, but I'm probably... I don't even know if I could do 50. I probably have to do 40 or something. So I was like, yeah. I saw you doing the, the CPAP without the guild skills. It's kind of tragic. Was, that was rough, yeah. Oof. Yeah, it was a little bit... Yeah, it's kind of tragic. <laughs> <laughs> it's Remind yeah me of my it's so much mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah i think yeah jandos did say 20 percent cd is yeah, technically still a bit better because of uh uh proccing uh aether forge but, i yeah. mean boss I, I heard it was like really really close so i mean okay. i wouldn't be upset if i had boss either <laughs> it's like oh no oh no 20 percent boss only it's just yeah. really good for um training when you're uh when you have 20 percent skip because you can put down uh, the the sword thing. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the, the the orange swords. Oh yeah, now, the so. rain of fire. That one. Yeah, yeah rain of fire. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name. So yeah, it's really good for training. Mm -hmm. You can put two at a time though, right? It'll. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no it, it resets it. You could just but use it like, right after the other one. Yeah. Yeah. So I like like I'm an Adele, so I like lazy training. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually was playing a Luminous before this because. Uh, I was actually gonna main that because I made that for the burning event uh, in the summer, but mm -hmm. uh, their teleport was so just so awful. I couldn't play it. Anymore, yeah, it's so I was too like, clunky. I need something with, yeah, I need something with mobility. So uh, Adele was coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was so definitely just, an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. True. But I mean, playing Luminous was fun too. I mean, I just, you know, I like lazy farming. I don't know. I'm like old, so I've been playing Maple <laughs> for so long. It's like I can't play classes boomer. that. Yeah, I'm a boomer, so it's like my brain just can't handle it for more than an hour. So mm -hmm. I need something that sits on a platform and just uh, kills. Attacks and then, yeah, my swords like do everything for me, and then I go down and put rain of fire down, and then yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you tried the teleporting on Lumi since awake? Uh yeah, I, I have actually. Um, it's a bit better, right? Yeah, but I mean, once you play like you know, Adele. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to uh, <laughs> hard to play any other character. I feel it, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, it's very but, different. No, I do like Lumi. I do mm -hmm. like Lumi. Yeah, but I, I really want to um, get to like H Lucid and H Will. So like whatever I have to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so like my droplets right now, my droplet count is pretty uh, dire. I was I, I was thinking of just like focusing my 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 con is uh, stuck in latch lane right now, so mm -hmm. I want to keep her there and farm i was thinking like should i farm 216 droplets i have 69 right now but mm -hmm. nice like to get this yeah mm -hmm, nice very good <laughs> uh but uh, but i've been since i've been training in in uh you know esfera and uh moonbridge on my dell i have like 110 stone origin droplets mm -hmm. so i i don't know like what i should do should i wait for like the two and a half months or like the three months for to get enough will droplets to get my arcane weapon or should i just just say forget it go on my kana just like for 20 levels just get droplets and then because i could buy if i had enough droplets right now i could buy the arcane weapon mm -hmm. with the lucid droplets but i you know i need like you know 260 minus 69 yeah. droplets i don't know what i should do basically but i also heard that later on you're supposed to be using the stone origin droplets to buy the weapon because yeah. you're going to be training in, you know, Limina and Lavernus, stuff like that. Yeah, for a long ass time, yeah. And then it's, mm -hmm. it makes more sense to, like, backload the the amount of droplets you need onto the second phase because you need three items from the first shop, right? So it's kind of like the same problem with Damien and Lotus where you have three, you have five total items you want, but if you get four from one shop and one for the other, it's totally lopsided. And because yeah. they added the droplets in, makes more sense to go for three items from the one shop, two for the other one, especially because one of those two is the weapon is way more expensive. The other thing is, if you um, load it more into the other droplets as well, you give yourself more time and you're like waiting for, um, you'll be doing more hard lucid runs before then and then you have more chance of getting drops and then at that point you get more flexibility within the droplets that you can, instead of using them for the equips and then, Oh, I make the equips. They're seventeen star, um, but it's not an upgrade yet. I want to make them go them further, and then I blow them up, and then you have to go back to the drawing board. Instead, you can start using them as backups in case something blows up, and you have them kind of as your insur insurance instead. Yeah, especially since they like up the drop rate. So I'm like, yeah. 
it's like a conundrum for me. I'm not sure what to do. Like, obviously, I can't do anything right now, but because I don't have enough droplets. But mm -hmm. like, if I did, like, what would I do? You know, something like that. Yeah. Um, so there are some options. What I've been suggesting for most people is to, well, you're definitely going to work on getting all your stuff to 17, right? During the yeah. 17th uh -huh. of January. Um, for all the stuff that would get replaced by Arcane, I, I think you can definitely, as an Adele for sure, you can stay at 17 Abzo and just go much harder on the other pieces that will still stay together with the um, the fact that you already have the three line attack emblem as well really solidifies that you don't necessarily need like 18, 19, 20 star Abzo. I believe you can do all the things um, and you will will already still be like disproportionately carrying your own weight in the boss fight as an Adele as long as you know what you're doing. Um, the thing will be um, so just min maxing more on your legion, and we'll definitely be working more on your accessories and on your uh, your your CRA top and bottom. Your hat's kind of like a um, you could work on the hat like in the back, right? Because you would go for five set without the hat, I think, right? Yeah, I think when I get the arcane whip, I would switch out the for the abso hat, but my abso hat's not that good. Yeah, like your setup basically, I think, right? Uh. Yeah, but the question is, um, honestly, if instead of having the 17-star Arcane, I had the 21-star Abzo, um, I don't know if it would be that much worse. Um, maybe for me it would be, because the Knuckle has a pretty low base attack, mm -hmm. but the Adele, uh, what, what is it, Bladecaster or something? Yeah, I think it has uh, the 142, I think, instead of the 106, I think. Sure. My friend's mm -hmm. also, my friend's a buck, actually. Oh, big mistake, but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I kind of liked him for a CRA, but yeah, I don't know beyond that. Yeah. Yeah, he was kind. Of <laughs> he was complaining that is like a little bit lower than the other weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yours yeah, is uh, two hundred five as the uh, as the Abzo, and mine is two twenty one as the uh, Arcane. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the difference you're looking at. So your Arcane is your yeah your Arcane is probably close to three hundred. I'm guessing. Like 280 or something? Yeah, something like that. Arcane. Um, but yeah, hopefully, I was thinking, like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in anywhere, but I was hoping to get everything to 17 first, like yeah, that's 15, and then, um, yeah, 295, that's pretty nuts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's then, 73 then extra minus. base attack, yeah. and, and then the flame gets much better as well. Yeah. So um, like, get every, yeah, get everything to 17, and then work on my CR, like, try to get my CRA to 20, I think. Mm -hmm. Or or my uh, Golux stuff. I'm not sure which one first. I think CRA, right? Because I have so many backups. Exactly. Yeah, you have the backups there. For Golux, you do want to aim for it as well. But you probably want to go for like a lower level one and transfer over. It's probably the way to go. Unless you have a bunch of extra coins. Uh, and unless you ha already have like really, really good potential. But I would always... Um, the only potential I would consider like, oh, I have to make sure that I keep the item go for something like Golux for how many coins it is. Only if it's at least double prime, like a three line with double prime or something, I would say like, oh, I have to do it on this equip itself. Yeah. Or you already have like six, like let's say you get like six superior drops or something in the next uh, two weeks or something. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I don't, okay, I'm going on the item itself, right? It makes no sense to go one lower. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, because you always lose that one extra star and the higher you go, the more value is in that one extra star. So if you don't have to, then you don't do it, but um, yeah, because I actually it's, got like a yeah, yep. sorry to interrupt, but no, no, I go got a lot of um, like ping ping belts just in case. Mm -hmm. But then, but then I, uh, but then I found like superior. I only find when I get like backups or something. I only find like backups like of the actual item. So, mm -hmm. so I have like two extra superior belts, uh, but but no like extra earrings or pendants. Hmm. Well, I, oh, you can't find pendants, but no extra earrings, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the pendants is a bit tricky because the only thing you can use there is dominators. I don't know if you've gotten a little bit lucky with that. Yeah, I ha yeah, I actually had like uh, five of them, but yeah, mm -hmm. I, I only yeah, I get lucky. Like, it took me a while to get one, and then once I got once I got it, I got a ton. So I'm okay with dominators now. Um, but uh, I sometimes mistakenly disenchant them, but that's it. I have like five. Okay. I'm, I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> five is still yeah, a good so amount, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So uh, I, I wanted to ask you another question about my accessories. Uh, yeah. So I'm kind of like with my rings, I, I don't know what to really do. There's like, I have a lot of problems with the accessories, but 
um for the like for example the synergy ring i want to replace it uh i think you're supposed to do a meister or or but i also heard like someone say the uh, the event ring we have now is also like 18 like an 18 star ring i'm not sure yeah it's around is equivalent to 17 uh, for arcana it's a bit higher because the hp and mp scaling on it so it's like almost i think it's pretty close to uh like an 18 ring equivalent for for something like kana for other classes it's like around a 17 around a 17 star equivalent yeah which basically means that if you're not anytime soon pushing past 17 then it's like fine as a placeholder but eventually it always becomes a drop rate ring um okay. and since you are um, I, I think the, the the advice I would give is like to keep 17 on the abzo and then push all the other stuff be, beyond 17. Uh, I wouldn't start planning on using a, that ring now as your damage set because then pretty quickly you're going to want to move past that. Okay, got it. So what is your total right. ring setup looking like? Like how many do you have? Oh, I have uh, what oh, you mean like for drop and item? Yeah, yeah. Know. Okay, so I have like... Uh, I have rings for yeah drop and meso and that pretty much. But I use master SS rings and uh, solid ring. Mm -hmm. uh, my solid ring right now is being used as a meso ring. Um, but yeah, b besides that, I just have uh, master SS to switch in for meso and item. That's it. I, I don't have any other ring. I don't have. I, I didn't. I'm I'm level ten right now uh, crafting because I keep forgetting mm -hmm. uh, to craft. So mm -hmm. I'm stuck. It's <laughs> like a level ten. Uh, mm -hmm. But I I'm. I like put like a post it so I'm top of my computer so oh, yeah. hopefully my boomer Craft. brain can <laughs> Yeah, my boomer brain can remember. So I think I'll get Meister I'll get a Meister ring before the seventeenth and try to get that to twenty uh, twenty one, yeah, so, something like that. Hopefully mm -hmm. if I have enough money. Uh, How many can you craft of those? I craft maybe three, I think. I think mm -hmm. if Yeah, like, is that a primals the or is the grand spell essences that usually form the bottleneck? Unless you NPC your twisted times, because maybe your boomer brain told you to do that. Oh no no no! I, I did that in the beginning, and my friends like my friend called me an idiot, so <laughs> I keep them all now. Okay. I have like a couple thousand, but yeah, yeah, the, yeah. I, I should have enough for like I think three. Mm -hmm. I haven't really. Yeah. I think it's that. I think it's two fifty grand spell essences, right. I believe, and then one primal. I, I get. It. I have a ton of uh, primals, but not enough. Uh, Grand hmm. spells, and says I think I, I I probably could only make two because I only have like six hundred grand spells. This is oh, it's one fifty each for the ring, so you could make three, maybe four. Oh, okay, great. If you have six hundred, you could make four. Yeah, that that's a yeah. decent amount because then you can pretty much. I mean, unless you're super unlucky, you can guarantee one at least going to twenty. Um, uh -huh. Or it could be like the guy <laughs> in my chat who made eighteen and never saw nineteen of nineteen stars on eighteen of them. So, you know. It's possible. I'll send, you the pictures, uh, I'll send you the aftermath if I beat his record. So <laughs> okay, yeah, you know. huh? whole inventory full of traces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah. Ideal setup pro is like high meister into superior, and then another high meister, and then whatever the last two slots is whatever comes out the highest between solid, uh, the kana and the reinforced. Okay with obviously being as careful as possible on the Kana and uh, going over on the other two first since they have backups. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you can go to 19 on a Kana treasure without risk of boom by going there through solid transfer hammer. Okay. Um, so like the, the only thing that you're like risking booming on would be on solid and on, uh, and on Meister. And then that could get you to like 22 Meister, 21, um, uh, 21 uh, Superior, 20 Solid, and 19 Kana Treasure, for example. Like that situation would be the safest, really good one. And then if you want to go beyond that, then you got to start risking Reinforced. And then if the Reinforced is beyond the Kana Treasure and the Solid, uh, the difference between the Kana Treasure and the Solid isn't is small enough for you to be like, I'm just going to risk the kind of treasure. Um, if it booms, it's whatever, and then you're just done. And then you stick to like 20 reinforced, 20 solid, 22 Meister, 21 uh, superior. Like that's a, that's very, that's like a very, very solid um, end game setup. Um, okay. If the kind of treasure doesn't blow up, then you can try 21 and the reinforced. Um, see if it, it, it beats it out. If it doesn't, then you just use kind of treasure in the solid instead. 
Um, and if it doesn't blow up, you can even try to kind of treasure again. Because at that point, you're basically thinking like, well, if it, you know, if it fails, I'm losing barely anything. Um, but if it works, you're just gaining like 12 weapon attack, which at that point, um, among all your equips, is a really good buff. So. Yeah. Okay. I never thought about uh, doing it that way. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Right, yeah, it's like sense. the long-term safer way, and then solids are actually kind of cheap to replace. They're not that expensive to make versus, I mean, if you're looking at 700 for yeah. the other equips and a solid is, I think, 200 or 250 maybe. So you uh, can almost get like three for the, for the price of one of those equips, so that is pretty uh, that is pretty doable. Okay. Yeah, it's good. This is like, I mean, good, like, tell me the order, because I was about to just like ooga booga it. I just you can, completely... but then you'll be done faster yeah, yeah, yeah. too, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> You're like, well, uh, this is my I life should, now. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should definitely do it the other way. Yeah. yeah. So probably get it solid. Um, that. Yeah, for penance, I would just transfer him a superior. Uh, make sure you have enough dineros for backups for the other pendant. Mm -hmm. For the sweet water, and then also for the tattoo, of course. Um, um, yeah, belt, I would do the. I would just 17 this one and then just long term save up for like a 21 um, or even a 22 uh, ping bean belt and then transfer over. So you could just make okay. that jump 17 to 21 in one go. And that way you can also justify having to recube it, right? You don't want to be like, oh, I have to recube it because I gained one or two stars on it through transfer hammering. That, that That's not worth it, really. It's only oh. if you make that big jump. And, you know, if you blow up a bunch of ping bean belts, you know, nobody cares. It's. Uh, <laughs> Like yeah, it's gonna cost money, but as long as you just keep it during a five, ten, fifteen, then it's still a solid gain that you're aiming for. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, Syria probably be before that, at least the the top and the and the bottom. Um, you did have the hat as well, right? Did you did you prep that in case you were gonna get the weapon? Is that why you? Um, yeah, the absolute hat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just got I got it just in case because there was some events, uh, like the cube sale and the uh, thirty percent. So I was like, you know, why not? I just get this to. Legendary yep. and like 12 stars. I actually I tried getting the 15 stars for 30 percent. I blew like a couple bill and it's, it's hard stuck like. <laughs> hard stars, stuck. So. Damn. Yeah. He was inting the whole yeah, way there. He's really <laughs> actually inting. But yeah, so that's why I got the app. So I, I wasn't even close to getting. I'm still not really close to getting the weapon, but yeah, I, I was like, if there's a sale, like why not? So. Mhm. Mm no, it make yeah, kind of makes sense. I saw some people um, having. Um, arcane weapon, uh, arcane gloves, and then it's like, oh, there's a sale, so I, I got it to two line crit damage. It's like, but what if you don't get the whole set and don't get it to at least like 18 or 19 that it's worth switching, and then all of that money is just the whole time is just sunk into the potential of your glove that you're never gonna wear? Like, that seems a little bit of a. I mean, I don't, I don't know. If they're like, <laughs> if they farm like hundreds of, hundreds of hours and they have like billions everywhere, then I, then I guess it makes sense. But like for my situation, even. Now that I have a decent amount of money, like I want to save it so that you know arcane becomes a reality possibly for me. Not, yeah. You know, if, if I keep spending, because I could I could spend everywhere if I wanted to, but then that limits my options severely. Yeah, that's true. It would like yeah. Yeah, that's why I advise people to kind of like you know p throw things in your storage so you have a good idea of how much you're working with. If you keep it divided over too many characters, you can have way more than you actually think and then make bad decisions during events because of it. Uh-huh. So it can be important. Until I get that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I, I mean, I just put it all in one character, actually, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, storage plus character, that's already 60 build up to now. And then with Neo, that'll be up to 200 build. I mean, you'd have to train if you not have, like, a dedicated farmer. Even if you have a dedicated farmer, you'd have to play for quite a while to, like, go over 200 build. That's a pretty big chunk. I mean, imagine if 5, 10, 15 was yesterday and everyone had their money in the storage. <laughs> yeah, that would have been, that so would have been just, beautiful. Uh, mm. <laughs> I keep the money under my mattress, you know, in my Adele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's maybe a good idea as a precaution. Keep it in a big sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just in case. Let's see. Yeah. What is that? Uh, what is that metal? Is that like a special event one or something? Oh, no, it's just the Adele one. I just uh, fusioned it because I didn't like the Intellian Guardian. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, it looks kind of cool, actually. It's like thing. it's a lot bigger than most of the other ones. Like this one actually hits the edges of the. Yeah, but you're going for the monster Parker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh. I'm. This is my last week for every other day except for Friday. I have two days, 
So before I was like, oh, okay. no way I need that ID, right? Because I had 80%, like, like, I was an idiot. So it's like, I got an 80% ID emblem, right? I'll never need mm -hmm. another for, uh, for, form of ID. And then uh, I was like, I heard that uh, attack is better. So mm -hmm. I just started doing Monster Park like a couple weeks ago. So I'm almost done now. But yeah, once I get that, I'm going to be using that for boss runs. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's an Adele. It's still a pretty new character. So it's perfectly fine if you don't have it yet. People understand. Um... <laughs> It's in a support being out, so the, I think the potential on your Abzo um, probably needs a little bit more work, right? Until you can do hard lucid. Okay. Because it's from what I remember, there's like some double all set lineage and stuff like that going on, right? Um, the on the weapon, I think I have two. No, the weapon is good. Weapon, weapon is fine. Weapon is fine. Um, okay. Yeah, mm, glove is fine. Yeah, like the cape, for example, that one definitely. Could use a okay, bump yeah. right because um uh -huh. it's i mean it's essentially because you're gonna yeah your dex is not gonna be appearing as much at all so you're basically at 17 out of what you want at least 23 hopefully 30 on something like that because the something downside like, yeah. yeah the, the, the yeah, downside yeah. of keeping the 17 abzo is that you do need to put a little bit more effort into the potential but like comparatively going from 23 to uh, to thirty percent potential versus you know going from seventeen to eighteen or nineteen stars, that's still going to be cheaper. Mm -hmm. That uh, makes a lot know, of sense. Yeah. I mean, as, as long as you take into account average booming and having to safeguard and having to go back. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, if you get lucky with the star forcing, it's way cheaper. But you can really count on that, of course. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, like the shoe, uh, possibly a little bit better, and then the cape, possibly a little bit better. The other pieces are are good enough because yeah, even though it's all stat on the shoulder, you do have three of them, so that's fine. I would say, but yeah, aim for I, I like to think I'm a, a Xenon mm -hmm. so, yeah, with these lines. Yeah. I never get strength lines, but yeah, I should try. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of all stat between all. I of get you. really, yeah, I get really, um, I get like really bad luck when cubing. Sometimes, obviously, like sometimes I get lucky. You know, that's how luck works. But mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I get really, really True. unlucky, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this item, and then I like put it away in my mind, and then and then like um, until someone, you know, until you say like, yeah, you got to work on this. Like I just never. I don't remember that it's pretty bad or like not good enough. <laughs> oh yeah, you just kind of like gave up on the item, so you just yeah, it's... block it in your memory. Oh yeah, yeah I exactly. see your uh, grand spell essence is here. Over here it says five seventy six, so you probably have a little uh -huh. bit more now. Yes, yeah, so you should be close to make, being able to make four. That's a good number, honestly. Yeah, it's just, the hardest part I think is just remembering to craft. Brain slow. Yeah, if you could, well, if you craft a bit and you're um. Your bar will just fill up, and then it's like, oh, you can't craft anymore. And then, get, then you'll want to craft, but then you'll be able to, you'll be checking all the time, like, can I craft again? And then that'll be the reminder, because it's like you're you're, you're going to check if you've already uh, gained fatigue back, kind of thing. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah it, it is good to have the rings made before then, um, because the rings themselves cost a hundred fatigue each, and there's I think okay. a fifteen minute cooldown timer between crafting as well. Yeah. So you so can just be like. Fourteen minutes right now. And it feels like an eternity. <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're looking at the clock, yeah, it feels forever. Yeah. Uh, 1900 with these. Oh. What is this inefficiency? You got two stacks of uh, yeah, Silent I'm Crusader sorry. coins. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> is that unacceptable. It's like such a mess. I just don't want to like <laughs> deal with it. So, yeah, it's pretty well, bad. It's really uh, dumb because when you have a set of 3K in the bag and then you have a bunch here and you buy from the shop, it takes them out of your bag first and then it leaves the ones here and then it leaves yeah. an open slot in your bag. It's like, <laughs> I realized that. I did this, it did that sometimes because I had a coin purse and I was like buying something and then uh, I couldn't find it in my inventory like, like to see if I had enough, but... Mm -hmm. I, I swear I took it out, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's a coin purse. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maple Story is like, they do they do stuff like really like you know really weird. Yeah, it's interesting. It's, like, it's to make it more inaccessible for players. I don't know. It's, I've never seen this game philosophy before. <laughs> it's yeah. it's probably the only way they can make it work without a lot of trouble. So it's like the easiest way to. <laughs> yeah, it's like super unoptimized. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, it's like they do it on purpose, but some, sometimes it feels like they do it on purpose, but yeah. Yeah, I think it just, if they wanted to do it another way, it would just be too difficult. So this is like the path of least resistance kind of thing. Get rid of those Von, Leon, what are Von Leon coins? I don't even know what those are. <laughs> I think they I just pick them up. I was going to say yellow <laughs> coins, but half the coins are yellow. This with the with the L on it. I oh, think okay. I still have some of those. Yeah, you can, All right. you could, if you wanted to min max, you could buy, uh, 
you could buy Van Leon equips at the shop with it and then NPC and them. This, okay. I think if you I think if you buy the capes, I think that's the best value for coin. I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like a hundred k each or something, so you make like two mil. Nice. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Big cash. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, blah, 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 back to the to the the whole set of equips, right? And then, because accessory wise, so y you have a set with um, five mezzo and four bo uh, mm -hmm. drop. Do you have that? Yeah, I have. Uh, I have everything. I have has a uh, drop or mace on it, like an accessory. But I don't have. I I've never gotten a two line before, like in all my years of mm -hmm. black cubing. I've never got two line item or drop, so it's pretty inefficient. But it's. Have yeah, you black I cubed have, on the accessories? Yep. Mm -hmm. mm, I never got no. That's unlucky. Not mm. yeah. Never. Because usually so, I go with red cubes for everything, uh -huh. and then um, once everything has the lines, I try to improve them by getting a line of mezzo or drop and a line of strength at least, so I don't lose too much kill potential, right? Uh huh. Because um, it all adds up over nine items, um, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. usually I get at least one item with a double, just because of the amount of rolls okay. with the red cubes. But um, okay. on one <laughs> on one character I've gotten three, and another one I've gotten one, and one I've gotten two, I believe. Yeah, and then the I other don't two don't, don't have really don't really have drop and mezzo sets yet, so can't really tell for those. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you get lucky on some things and unlucky on some other things. I mean, you do have your emblem. I don't know how much you spent, but on average, that's like thirty bill plus. So yeah. depending on how much I you spent lucky. there. Yeah. I, I got I spent like a hundred mil. I mean I get lucky sometimes. I mean hundred mil? Yeah, hundred. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well see that wait, that, that sets wait, you up for like yeah. seven years of, of shit. <laughs> yeah, my friend was. Uh, I mean, my friends like my friend said I was lucky for that, and then he he uh, he he was blacking me his secondary and got uh, three line attack with two prime lines, and he's like still called he's still calling me lucky. I don't know <laughs> how to respond to that sometimes. But, yeah, no, that's a hard yeah. one. How do you come back from so that? I don't, I don't feel really lucky because he did it like right after this. <laughs> right after I did it, I was like, ooh, nice. And then he's like, all right, I'll just one up you. And so I don't know. <laughs> now your achievement feels like shit, even yeah. though it's really, really good. Yeah, it's, it's like people like people say like 30 bill, and then I'm like, okay, so how about his item then? It's like 100, 100 bill, something like that. I think yeah. it's even more. I think it's like 180 to 220 or something like that. It's like a really wild. Uh... Wine range. Suko did like a cubing session of I think 240 bill on his, and he had to settle for just three line without a double prime. Damn. He went I mean, full cube sale, black cubes, and. Can you imagine it. someone like that calling you lucky? <laughs> yes. I never felt that. Felt yeah, that I mean, I would call people lucky if they get like two items like that really quickly, or. Well, I think the main thing is if you do it on a character that you haven't been, because. You see, this the sample size matters, right? Because you see him spend maybe like five yeah, bill yeah. and get it, but then maybe he spent over his whole account like half a trill already and doesn't really have anything mm -hmm. amazing to show for it. Yeah. But you've maybe That's spent true. a total of like 50 bill and then you have this one already and all the That's other true. stuff. And then it's like, overall, you're still luckier. But yeah, <laughs> for the singular item, yeah. If you look at it, just the item, then it's definitely feels a little bit weird. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, yeah. Uh, for sure he spent more money and, and mm -hmm. like I do have I get like this star force anxiety where like I blew a lot of like I blew a lot of stuff up and then I get really scared to ever star force again it's, 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 it's like a you know it's hard to do it but I mean when the event comes I have to like that's why I saved so much money this time mm -hmm. but it's not like so much it's not a ton but it's like I've saved enough where I'm like okay I could get everything to 17 at least you know like I could I could safeguard my Abso stuff and get, you know, 17. So. Yep, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. Yeah, that, that that should be definitely the main thing. Yeah, I'm at almost 460 bill spent. That's way more than I thought, actually. And you don't condo farm. It's pretty insane. Yeah, it's a lot of boss. <laughs> that adds up to a lot of boss crystals. Yeah. Um... Yeah, okay, so wait, one. Uh, let's see if we could do this, like, one I would equip, equip at a time. Like, we talked about the rings, right? So, mm -hmm. you can, if you already have, like, the total set of rings, then you can, you can definitely get the event ring somewhere else. Like, the little bit of stat that it would give you over one of the other rings, probably not worth losing the potential of that being a really solid up to, even if through the late game ring for any other character you're doing, possibly if you're going to mm -hmm. work on the Kana, like, having a ring accessible and a really strong one at that is probably more value there. 
Uh, pendant we talked about both pendants we talked about. Um, so weapon we'll leave it up a little bit and circle back. We talked about the belt. Um, e earring, iron face. Um, see, face makes sense. Earring makes sense, right? Lower one, transfer over. Don't go super hard beyond the potential now and then transfer hammer it again, like similar to the belt, right? Mm -hmm. Um, for the eye, um, yeah, probably just get this one to 17 because you keep the set bonus, right? You keep the three set bonus. Mm -hmm. So that makes it worth and the flame is a lot easier to get than something good on the on the monocle. If you ever want to go beyond 17, though, this one is typically harder to get backups for. And that's when it starts getting a little bit annoying. And then mm -hmm. when typically I would um, I would advise to go for the monocle because that's easier to, to get backups for not easier as in like you can just pick them up but more reliably to yeah. to get backups for yeah uh -huh. so i should just get that to legendary right i'm yeah yeah you can get legendary. Out. Mm -hmm. yeah no just you can get it yeah 17 star legendary and then, yeah and then if you get pat mark then it's a it's a shoe in for like and then that just takes all of your attention basically i i would transfer that over right to, i'll uh -huh. get it to 17 and then transfer it to pep and then transpose or uh oh you could do that with this one yeah you yeah you you could do that yeah basically you have the whole thing um lined up the thing is um with transposing there's a good chance that it fails on the first or second day right oh yeah i know that uh yeah because <laughs> of all the failures so when do you um if you get this the legendary and 17 you kind of rely on that stat and then you transfer hammer it over and you're stuck with a 16 pep mark that's epic Mm -hmm. um that that will lose you some damage i guess it won't be as noticeable though because it's just one item so that's probably fine um and then you'll just work on the flame on that and then it's if it's good enough transpose it over yeah yeah but as soon as you can start transposing as soon as it's good then immediately start transposing don't like sit on it for like a 5 10 15 or something but yeah you could yeah yeah that's why 17 i think is a good spot for this because then it'll be 16 pep mark which is exactly where you want to transpose anyway uh-huh that's kind of what I did with the Dominator to pen, but it took me a while to transpose. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, <laughs> the, hopefully the next one is lucky then to kind of compensate. But yeah, I've yeah. had in general not great luck with transposing. I think one time it worked on the second day, but the, the other times that I transposed, it took me one time it took me ten days, I think, or almost two weeks to do it. Okay. it pretty, was, mine wasn't bad. that bad, but. Jeez, okay. pretty bad. Yeah, it made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're me basically like... spending like 900 or like a thousand dineros just for the transpose. It's a rough one. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that system. Everything's like so. Yeah, it's it's non KMS, I, I... right? KMS doesn't have it, yeah. so it's either outdated or it doesn't really have a lot of over, uh, like a lot of control over it. So uh -huh. <laughs> it, it just they don't like touch it. Yeah. Mm, exactly. Yeah, no, I understand no, like RNG be. in an MMO, but some of these things are just like ridiculous you know, <laughs> or there are th like three or four layers stacked on top of each other yeah. where there's like a chance for a soul and then a chance for a magnificent and then like a chance for a certain potential in magnificent it's like ugh. <laughs> it's getting a little bit <laughs> yeah, too silly at that uh, point <laughs> there should be like some kind of i don't know I i'm not a game designer but yeah it feels really really bad when you get a lucid soul and it's like magnificent or like or you know yeah if you're not and, trying and, to go and, for it yeah and then it's like magic attack when you're <laughs> yeah yeah this is completely useless basically it's, yeah it's completely <laughs> awful and you can't even you know nope. can't even take it out and give it to another character but yeah it's mm -hmm. a lot of things just get value because it's difficult to get them sometimes uh -huh. people are like oh this should just be more this should just be easier and it's like but yeah if you if you run that down then eventually everything is so easy to get that nothing really gets any yeah. intrinsic value anymore Exactly, exactly so but there's yeah there's probably got to be a point with some of these things where it's a little bit more to one side than where it is now yeah <laughs> i totally i agree with you on that yeah. one yeah uh, i don't want to complain but yeah it's i, I like maple I, I like playing maple but mm -hmm. uh it's somebody it's, it's, sometimes it gets really frustrating but yeah i said too like i don't want to complain but i will because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> there's there are some stuff worth complaining bit, about still be complaining yeah. yeah. See me on tomorrow, but I'm still I'm complaining a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be super happy about it, but and then I'll let you know, but I'll be <laughs> here. <laughs> um yeah, and then the, so the CR8 top and bottom. So if you have money left after the five ten fifteen, which hopefully you do, um 
you could do like the CRA top and bottom, like one one start at a time, just like bring them up, or you know, one item at a time if you whatever you prefer, I guess. Um, yeah. I think if you do one at a time, you can have a little bit more control over your money. If you go like all or nothing, and you you know you blow up from nineteen to twenty twice or something, that could feel very bad because you could have also had two nineteens, and if you blow one up, then you still have another nineteen left over. You know, yeah. um, you'd you'd rather want to end up with a nineteen star and an eighteen star than with uh, with a seventeen star and a seventeen star kind of kind of deal. So, uh, so I should. Oh, so that's okay. So that's how I should be doing it, right? Because I was just gonna like. I don't think there's a should. I, I don't think there's a should there. It, it's up to you what you want to do. Yeah. Some people will go up to like twenty and then hold up a twenty and then try to do the other one. Uh, twenty to twenty-one ten is less risky than nineteen to twenty. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, because of the nature of dropping below. Um, I like twenty-one as a stopping point, just like. Basically, seventeen to twenty-one is like the that's like the the, the huge risk area, um, and then I just stop pretty much always at twenty-one. There's only like a few exceptions, um, but you could say like I'm getting it to nineteen or something, and then revisit it later. It totally depends on how much money you want to save. Um, I don't know if you've have you already bought all the droplets? Is that why you have? Uh, yeah, I, just, to do? I bought all the droplets. Yeah, yeah. I had like twelve arcane droplets before. Okay, yeah, yeah. It is quite nice to get a huge chunk of those. Yeah, I was yeah, I was actually thinking like, if I really get like really 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 unlucky and for some reason, uh, get no drops in H Lucid H Will and I don't have enough droplets like in six months I should be able to buy a hundred more. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's like <laughs> at least to be enough for a weapon. Resort. Yeah, yeah, that's the absolute last resort though. I mean, hopefully I'm never that lucky. I mean, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> that yeah. luck. Well, I mean, if it's a really low chance of happening and you. And you get it, isn't? Doesn't that mean you're lucky? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, true, but but doesn't feel good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but feels bad. I'm hopeful. I'm yeah. hopeful. I'm. I'm hopeful optimistic. to be lucky. Yeah. To be yeah, unlucky. I'm optimistic. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Especially when like everyone's like linking their, everyone finishes a H Lucid run in like my guild or buddy, and they just link their uh, uh, arcane weapon. They're like. Hey guys, look, I got a backup or something like that, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can be like me and have three backups on a character you actually don't want to upgrade on. and then. Yeah, I saw your H will run and uh, you got another weapon. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, the <laughs> the arc one, right? Yeah. Yeah, the arc, the, the arc one is bought, so I do welcome the backups there. But my Demon Avenger has three weapon backups at this point where it I'm still using the old Tyrant gear. So it's pretty low Star Force and DA skills off of Star Force. So if I could get like a shoe, a glove, or a cape, that'd be really nice for that character. <laughs> But uh -huh. instead, I've got three weapons, and <laughs> I mean, technically, the weapons have like double the value because it's almost double the droplets. But if I could trade it in for three any other drops, I would in a heartbeat, just so I could start switching some stuff over and maybe get a little bit of set bonus on that character. Uh, yeah, because in a DA, you actually want to get the six, uh, the six set bonus. For the, the yeah, it gives you thirty attack HP. and thirty percent HP over the over the CRA. So for DA, that's actually really nice. Because you're basically training 20, 20 attack to 20% HP. Um, but yeah, but now I'm sitting on three weapons. when <laughs> That could have yeah. been like a four set and maybe buy one more, uh, you know, and then a five set kind of kind of deal. That's pretty annoying but, too. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, it's like a first world problem, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, yeah, and like the, t the, the tyrant I have is 10 stars. So even just going from 10 to 17 is a nice upgrade also because of all the HP you get from extra star force as a demon avenger, so... Yeah, you you I would consider switching at like seventeen or eighteen versus what I have now, just because of set bonus and, and star. Yeah, I mean you mm -hmm. still stuck to twelve nine instead of thirteen ten on HP, which is really dumb. But yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that, but yeah, it was really weird because when it first came out, it went to thirteen ten. Everything did, uh -huh. um, and then there was another patch after that, and suddenly a bunch of stats got stuck at twelve nine at 160 tier because it was probably just copy pasta over from kms um yeah. and that was like defense ma uh, magic uh, uh no, mp i mean hp and luck as well and luck just got hot fixed within like an hour because it was uh -huh. like not supposed to happen and i was like hey is hp getting fixed too and just like dead, <laughs> dead silence like cricket noises tumbleweed passing on the other side like okay yeah. <laughs> come on yeah, and <laughs> then you get the 10 da <laughs> yeah and Come then you on. get those quizzes, and it's like, what are the all? St what are the main stats called? And then there, there's no option for HP. And you're like, okay, well, 
<laughs> guess we just don't exist in this game. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> Sag yeah, in real life, I mean, yeah. <laughs> imagine not playing a thief or a popular class. Yeah. Imagine DA. playing a demon avenger. It's just DA. Only one class uses HP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you get a little bit as a Kana, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's true. Um... So, yeah, droplet-wise, that's, like, the main thing, right? Um, I guess that's, that's, like, the one crux that, that's left over now is, like, droplet-wise and the move to arcane. Um, I think you can start, like, once you have those stuff figured out, see a little bit higher potential on the um, on the episode stuff, like, on point. Um, maybe a little bit of ring work. Um, I think at that point you definitely have the damage. Have you done a BA now? Like, what do you know what you're at? Yeah, I did a BA a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, I That was before the 30%. So before the 30%, some of the items were 12 star mm -hmm. and 10 star because uh, I just didn't want to spend money when I couldn't uh, like afford it. But when I get it to 15, I, did, I haven't done a BA yet. But back then, I did I had like a little bit over 2 trill mm -hmm. uh, in 30 seconds, I think. In 30 seconds or 40 seconds? Uh, I did it in 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, you can do 40 second BA. Well, I mean, 40 second BA is like the standard test, but it's a little, um, of course, if you if the boss goes exactly 40 seconds, then that means you might be close to failing. So you also, yeah. you, you want to like, you know, calculate margins, but you typically take the, the 40 second. Yeah, because I would expect that you'd be um, like around three at least. Yeah, so like 3.5, but you're quite bursty. You do have decent uh, DPM as well, though. Um, so that's... Uh -huh. It's solid all around. I think that's definitely enough to get into a hard lucid party. Yeah, so definitely if you fix those last things that we talked about, and then as your legion gets up and up and up, it'll just um, you know without even upgrading your your equipment, you'll get stronger and stronger. Um, yeah. And then we're talking about like link skills on top of uh, not link skills, sorry, um, skill skills on top of that, all that stuff. Um, you know, you can pop some legion power, and you have your dea g potion, and maybe people pop an ursus buff, and you know you have your Monster Park potions for damage, all of that on top. Um, uh -huh. You should be absolutely fine. Um, but the sooner you start running, the more attempts you have at, at drops. Um, in my experience, the drop rate for weapons seems higher than all the other pieces. Not just for me personally, because I've gotten a total of five <laughs> drops now, and four of those <laughs> are weapons. Um, yeah. But like what I've seen, I've done like uh, I'm sure I've done over 250 hard boss runs now, and I've seen like half the drops probably have been weapons over all the other ones. And since there are so many different pieces um, over so many attempts, that does seem pretty uh, blatant that the the drop rate for weapons seems higher, especially also because it's the drop rate for weapon is in both of the bosses, right? So um, I would hold off on buying the weapon too early um, b just because it locks up 200 of your droplets. That's true. Uh -huh. I mean, best case scenario, hopefully. I get your up. Yeah, yeah because the, the weapon is a nice upgrade, but if you already can kill the hard bosses and you can train, then do you really need the weapon, right? Is it more just something you want or is it something you need? And you got to make sure that something you want doesn't get ahead of something else you want, which is to switch to the full arcane set and get that huge boost instead. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, it's a little bit of like patience and you know, denying yourself the short-term gratification for, hopefully, <laughs> in the longer term, the, the, the longer gratification. You know. The hardest thing about MapleStory. I feel like everything is, like, yeah. long-term sometimes. Yeah, I've heard that that's, like, a general Korean MMO thing, that that happens a lot in Korean MMOs where you have to really think long-term. And people who do that actually get rewarded more than people who go for, like, super short... Um, Term. But I, I think to compensate, the, the fact that we have Kishin and Totems and stuff kind of allows you to still go the other way if you want to. And you can kind of brute force it. Uh-huh. Yeah. But then you just have to put the time in. Yeah. So if you do go for a Kana Farmer, you can buy it with the Kana Droplets. But then let's say, you know, you buy your weapon and then you get a weapon drop like the week after. I've heard a few people that happening to. And then it's like, well, okay, now you have a backup, I guess. But that could have also been a weapon and two other drops, and then yeah. you'd be over and halfway then, of the way through the set already, and it's like, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for the attempts, uh, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, I, I was thinking about starting after the Star Force event, because right, like, I don't, I don't like, I, I feel like my 
my damage isn't there yet to really like fully contribute and like mm -hmm. pull some weight because uh i'm not like looking to get into a h lucid party i actually have like a like five other players that i know mm -hmm. but i want to feel like i'm carrying my own weight you know what i mean mm -hmm. kind of thing so i don't want to ever feel like i'm being carried or or uh i'm you know just being bought along so i hope hopefully like i was thinking after the 17th because me and my friend like we we both saving me and this other guy mm -hmm. he's like a uh, mercedes uh we're both saving uh for the 17th and hopefully hopefully like we both get enough gains to like carry our weight mm -hmm. uh, but whether our you remember yeah whether you feel like you're carrying weight or not isn't always contingent on whether you are right Sometimes it has to come from like an understanding that you are rather like your feeling can override the fact that you are or not. The best way to still go about it is just check your BA, check the team's BA and then see where you rank and then think like as long as I play my character like somewhat um, optimally and like I know what I'm doing, then you're carrying your weight. And then whether that feeling that you have, you can then override it or, or not or justify it, right? whatever the feeling is at that point. But I think it's important to know like the other people in the party if you already know what their BAs are and you know what their functions are because uh -huh. your burst might you're not going to aim for like having the highest burst in your party right because that will put a lot of pressure on you but your DPM is probably going to be higher if, if they have like four trail or four, five trail burst then you have three um, depending on what class they are your DPM might be higher than theirs already because you have the constant hunting decree you have pretty short cooldown on the return bloom which does a lot of, uh, of extra damage especially now that you know the swords linger a little bit more um huh. the blades and they don't immediately disperse again you probably played during that time where you're like yeah. like return bloom and then they just bloom all across the map you're like nice thanks i'll just be spa yeah i'll just be spamming my uh my just key smash the bloom time. button yeah yeah i'll just be yeah whenever the, it's the up, best like, part okay. is if it's if they're like all blooming like directly like around the target not hitting yeah, any yeah, of yeah. it and this oh, is a perfect outline of like my. the old western movie where they're like shooting and they're like yeah. the, the outline of the person in the yeah. back and that's like the blue and you're like oh god how could you be exactly. so horrible it's like the storm like a stormtrooper <laughs> yeah, yeah. the uh, old stormtroopers yeah apparently the new ones hit sometimes yeah wait it's them. awful because <laughs> everyone in your party can hear the noise you know when they they hit a you know, and then like they're like, okay, where's the burst? You know, where's the damage? <laughs> yeah, it's like, all right, kind of, kind of just missed the target by a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good. <laughs> that's a really good update that they did. It even, even with the cooldown reduction on Bloom, there's still a little bit. Um, it's a little bit longer cooldown, right, than the other one. So, what I sometimes do is like, oh, the skill is up, and then I press it, but then Bloom's still like a second and a half away, and then it's like, shit, <laughs> I can't do the yeah. combo. Now you have to wait again until the next summons. That's the only thing, yeah. but I assume yeah. that does like some nice burst on the on the golems as well. So one thing when you're switching from normal to hard is that the golems actually become easier as long as everyone does a lot of damage. The golems just mm -hmm. kind of die instantly because they're not, you know, uh, they have more HP, but they're not linked to only or limited to only taking like what is it, fifty thousand damage or yeah. or something like that per hit or five hundred thousand. Um, <laughs> Something with a five. I don't know how many zeros at this point. We're, we're at so many zeros yeah. that I, I lose track. Um, Good thing the, the the unit damage skin came out, so you can kind of see it. <sighs> yeah, it makes it a little. Yeah, I think it's fifty mil, right? Uh, I yeah, think I think on so. a golem. Uh, yeah, I think it's fifty m. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Because if it was five hundred, some people wouldn't even be hitting that all the time. Mm. Yeah, it's, I think yeah, it's fifty so, mil. Yeah. So when when the when the my friend my buccaneer friend was in our party, we asked. We ha we were having trouble with N Lucid. I mean, he's he's like grad he he uh, puts in a lot of time on his Kana farmer, so he's like in H Lucid parties now. But mm -hmm. uh, back then, we were having a lot of trouble with the golems, and like no one could clear it. Uh, so we were like, "Yo, just switch to Cannoneer, man. It's just switch it for this boss." And he wouldn't do it. So. Yeah, it gets pretty <laughs> expensive after a while. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we couldn't. I was like, Yo, "Just one. Just just try it. Just try it once. See how it does." Yeah, it is godlike for Golem Clear. You have so many like random skills that just throw out lines everywhere, and you combine all of those together, you clear the Golem so well. There's definitely few classes. I think Adele does a pretty good job too with all of the swords flying around, um, yeah. especially with the Storm and in your um, Infinity Blade, like those kind of things. Or Ruin kind of hits in a nice hitbox as well around the target, hitting a uh -huh. bunch of them. And Ruin's only 60 second cooldown, right? So you can yeah, use that quite a 60. bit. It's so many lines uh -huh. too. It's like, 
yeah, when you get the fifth and you press that, that button it's like it's it's still going more it, oh and there's an explosion <laughs> more lines <laughs> you're like it's just it's a skill that keeps on giving yeah the first time i pressed it i was like damn I mean, Adele's a little bit, uh, a little bit overloaded, but I mean, <laughs> Cleave got a big nerf, so I mean, Cleave mm -hmm. uh, is is not that big in like a boss fight, but it's you know it's like your main attacking skill, I guess. Like you can't really, it's like you can you can't really control the swords, like they they're just flying around. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I mean, I like Cleave. So well, something like Cleave like the, and then and then Arcs, um, Endless Dream is really good on Lucid because you can just clear the area behind the boss as well. And if you just switch sides from left to right, at least you clean, uh, you help clean the area right around Lucid. The problem is still though the outlying ones when there's a dragon, right? But you can, uh, uh, have you practiced with floating over the dragon breath? Yeah, I've I've practiced floating over the dragon breath and I've tried, I've done the, I've done, I have like three three things to get away from it. I uh, iframe, uh, jump, like float over it, or I uh, bind the golems and try to jump over. But uh, usually it's like, it's, it's, I don't know, sometimes when I float, it's like, sometimes I lag, and it doesn't, like, float me properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but, yeah, it's like... Yeah, I'm a DA, thing. I know about floating and lagging, yeah. Sometimes you, you just press the right buttons, and the game just doesn't, like, nah, I don't feel like yeah. <laughs> yeah, saving I you. I do that sometimes in Lotus, too. Like, in H Lotus, sometimes, like, it's, like, really risky, but I don't like getting, like, pushed, so I just yep. uh, get on the platform and float, and just in case I fall, I, if I fall down, then I'll land on the platform, something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you have you tried to work with uh, with the impale resonance rush combo to gain more uh, height? Um, yeah, I, I have, but uh, okay, I haven't. I actually don't do that during dragon and stuff. I do that during training, like and like, like all the time everywhere else. But I just my brain just couldn't connect those two together. So I mean, I'll try that. Because I, I think what you, yeah, I think if you like, um, if you jump up impale and just to have one up there in case dragon comes. And then like, uh -huh. uh, and then jump up resonance rush, and then off of that up jump again, then flutter. I feel like you should always. By the time you get down, I feel like the dragon should be gone again. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting actually. And yeah, because the, the yeah, yeah. The, the the back step actually extends like the time in the air a little bit, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The oh yeah yeah the back step as well. That one's a little bit scary though, because that could get you over flying over a, a golem, of course. Uh -huh, yeah yeah true actually. And, yeah, and if you're floating in the air, also a golem can always just spawn right underneath you because you know <laughs> because they want to. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. So if that happens, you know, you're boned either way. But yeah, I think the safest is like um, the safest would be to try to time your iframe, I guess, if it's up. Because sometimes like Lucid just teleports you. Uh, yeah. And the dragon is spawning anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that happens, you're just everyone's just kind of dead yeah. i've actually started on classes that have shorter cooldown iframes even if i'm on the side properly just uh -huh. use my iframe preemptively yeah. just in case you get dragon because the dragon breath actually isn't that long i think it's only about three seconds so yeah. there's a bunch of iframes on the hero what you can do is like you can make a shield you can tank one hit heal um and then heal again and then tank an iframe uh, use your iframe and then by the time the dragon is gone, like your iframe and some, something like that. Uh, but yeah, having some more airtime is definitely usable. But it seems that when dragon happens and the stuff is going down and people are jumping around to try to get the safety, at that point, the game seems more prone to lag. And then it's like, oh, you wanted to float? Nah. Or, oh, you want, yeah. So, oh, there's also yeah. the ability to double up resonance rush. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Um,. I have done it before, but I've never actually done it in like a boss fight. Mm. Yeah, I actually never tried that. In a boss like with fight, an early, have... uh, with with an early crystal, and then uh, jump resonance rush to it, and then while you're falling, up impale and resonance rush to that again, and then up jump float. Yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, when the Adele came out, I was like trying to test like the limits of what mm -hmm. I could like you know do. Like, you could get so high, right? <laughs> you could go. Yeah. And then you plummet down, and then your plummet stops before you hit the ground because there's like a max range for plummet even. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, I like do that, and then like in a boss fight, like you know, I guess like a little bit like panic, but I never yeah. really think mm -hmm. about doing that. It's like I never think it's like plausible, I guess. So I just never have done it before. Mm. I always just try to like dodge it like conventionally, like. Either just, yeah. like killing the golem or jumping over it or like you know just try and float normally. But yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll try to do that next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think your green shield can help a little bit in some situations as well. But 
you have to like build it up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Get hit by that some, really, attacked by some yeah. golems. Maybe able to tank one hit or fly over a golem and not die to it. That kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It helps a lot actually for bombs and stuff. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, you get a huge has, shield over uh, if you explode two bombs, right? Yeah, it's it's really really good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Adele has a lot of like defensive things, mm-hmm. and it's like it's like the class is so strong or like it's so. Yeah, it's kind of silly it's, not to play it. Chat is what yeah, he's saying. You should all main it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm saying like when you die, it's like it feels extra bad. Is what I'm <laughs> yeah. It's like when it's like, you die, it's like wait a minute. You had like I, 16 ways of escaping this. How are you? Yeah, I had like a backstab and an iframe, and I have another iframe, and yeah. then I have a shield. Like, mm-hmm. how did I die there? And it's like, am I that bad? And you're like, or then no. even your uh, your infinity blade on startup and on finish is also an iframe. Yeah, yeah, but it's. it's Okay, so like when I press Infinity Blade, I don't know if anyone, any other Adele's like experience this. Obviously, maybe like a couple do, but I always complain to my party that it makes me lag so badly that it's like the iframe is wasted. I feel like the activation it makes me lag. Yeah, mm. even on low, like the. I think yeah, like. other characters can even see like the pink and blue clouds popping up. I think during um, Infinity Blade because it's like an after image of the of the swords flying around. I think during Ursus, yeah. well, not during Ursus, that's a bad example, because fifth, but yeah. Lucid, I think you can see it sometimes, yeah. Uh-huh. So I, I would only use that, I, I, I don't know, like, I'm probably missing something, but I always, uh, I only use it for, like, back then when Lotus lasers, like, spawn randomly, so I just pop it then, mm-hmm. or, like, when I'm spawning into Galux in his heart, and he, he like, sometimes tries to spawn kill you before he's, you can see anything, so I just try to yep. pop it then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll use it for, um... In, in that same way, you'll use it for hard loose, uh, hard will phase three then as well. Because when you load in, there's like a, he does yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the the stay move thing, and then sometimes he does the move action like immediately when you're still in yeah. the air, and then you have like two or three people dying on spawn. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like I was practicing will, and we so um, we we were getting stuck in the phase two test but mm-hmm. um yeah, yeah that's the, normal that's normal like the first three or four times it's perfectly <laughs> normal if someone keeps fucking up after like four or five tries then they need to like <laughs> then they're slowing the people party down you okay you, though. you can't say anything you just gotta be like you need to put them down <laughs> okay you need to put them out of their misery yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i mean you can't though. take you them out back old yeller style and just <laughs> you gotta subtly hint it you gotta yeah. be like so i feel I like we've been doing this test for 20 minutes yeah it's like oh well, shit we are we getting better at this guys yeah, <laughs> it's like we got out of phase one pretty qu- pretty quick. Ten yeah. lives. Everyone has ten lives. Um, we've been in, we've been stuck in phase two for. Uh, Jerry, you have two lives. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim, Jimbo, Jimbo over there. Hey. Um. <laughs> yeah, careful. It's uh. It's coming up. The test it's, is starting soon. It's coming yeah, up in five uh, seconds. Okay. Yeah, let's not die. Let's not die here. <laughs> let's keep our heads heads on a swivel there. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, but if you say that. Or, or like say anything like that, and then you fail the test, it feels even worse. Oh yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. Just... Then you just laugh it off. You're like, listen, you failed four yeah. tests. This is my <laughs> first one. Okay, I was. <laughs> I get one. I get one. <laughs> I get at least one. Yeah, and then they die out, and then the next test succeeds. But then it's not really like a guarantee that you're gonna get past it next time because they weren't there to fuck it up. You know. But yeah. I don't know. It's it's fun though. I, I mean, like that's the whole point. I mm-hmm. play. I guess. It's, Especially if it's the same place. group of friends, like it's fun to to get through that. You know. For sure. <laughs> um, I'm thinking if there's anything that we haven't covered yet, because I'm thinking that we're that we're yeah, all you've been good, pretty thorough. Think, right? I mean, yeah, yeah I think so. Went over everything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the hypersense is like this. Yeah, the inner ability that's a little. Yeah, I, I would just like allocate a certain amount of money that you're willing to spend in a session on Zerks. And then if you don't get it, then you just, you know, cut your losses and, and move on to the next one. Uh, don't go like super hard trying to get it and then waste absolutely all of your money and get nothing for it. And then, oh, next week there's a cube sale and you're like, well, fuck me. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't want to have anything like that be a thing. So just it, it's it's literally like the most gambly thing to just set aside how much you want to spend and then respect that uh-huh so what i would yeah. say so what i think i'm gonna do until the 17 is probably just farm money mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds like <laughs> a good idea yeah. yeah i can't do anything without that so yeah and then do everything that you told me to yeah. get 17 
try to get CRA up higher, change the potentials, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yo, is there any Legion? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of a uh, little bit of Legion work. Um... I just finished my uh, I finished my Paladin for Terror Burning, uh, the first the other one, and then I'm doing Hero now because I heard those are the two worst for strength. I heard. Um, yeah, Buck is also not great to get to 200 on. Tends to be a little bit slow early on. I'll, uh, well, uh, next that'll be the next Terror Burn. <laughs> maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'll see. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, yeah. Thanks for this though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I hope it was uh, was very helpful. Um, best of luck to your uh, your group of friends doing all uh, all the bosses together. It's really it's really fun that you guys sticking together. Yeah, except for uh, the guy who left us. Who? Uh, uh, just kidding, but <laughs> he oh, was too strong for us. He was basically oh, like, see, carrying us. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. He just he just got ahead of the pack, so. <laughs> Yeah, the bird had to leave the nest, so... Yeah. Oh, that kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, besides that. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, yeah. um, I guess the chat really wants you to do a, some kind of podcast, maybe some ASMR stuff. Oh, Because you've got that ra radio voice stuff going on, so <laughs> people really want to hear that. I mean, <laughs> I mean the guy the guy under us said, uh, is putting him to sleep, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 Yo, you yeah, could do those, sure. uh, like, yeah. reading bedtime stories thing. Have you ever, have you ever seen those on YouTube? Some people do that. They just like read uh, like calming bedtime stories for people who have trouble sleeping and they, they just put those on and then fall asleep to them. Um, wow. yeah, it, you can see it as like a negative when it's like you're putting me to sleep, but you can also, <laughs> you know, take it to like uh, to become a positive and just help people who have legitimate trouble falling asleep to, you know, be able to get rest because think how you are when you can't sleep. Like it's horrible, right? Mm -hmm. True, so. true, true. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? If you could provide that idea. service and people fall asleep to your voice, that could be a very, you know, a very intimate thing too, you know? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Could always do that. Mm -hmm. If uh, Maple Story, uh, you know, last <laughs> time after Maple Story. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I was uh, planning to donate anyway, but I mean, if I get a free uh, progression session off of it, I mean, good. Yeah. Because I uh, love your content. Thank really you, good. man. Appreciate it. Yeah, someone said it a lot of time, like, I was going to do it a little bit, but then it's like, if I add a little bit, then I get a first session as well. So two birds, one stone kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's kind of why I do it. I don't really get too many direct donations. Although I have to say, like, the last month or two, people have been way more generous than uh, than before that. But yeah, I, I'm. this is like a one way that I can give a lot back as well for a donation. So I kind of see it as a win-win for, yeah, just a win for both of us. And it's content. I could throw it on YouTube, get like another dollar ad revenue, you know? <laughs> Rolling in the... A dollar. Ooh, oh, yeah. Good. Sometimes two, man. It's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> times. <laughs> it's uh, it's peaking now. So, you know, maybe even 250 if I'm really lucky. So, good yeah. times. <laughs> yeah, maybe um, maybe after uh, uh, I'm done with like H Lucid and after mm -hmm. the event, I mean, I come back. It's pretty yeah. good. I mean, I learned a lot of stuff too. Is uh, I thought like... Because I've been playing for a while, but... I don't really look like look into like the, the minute details and I, th I feel like you do that. So, I mean, that's good. yeah, yeah. Some of the things I just wonder after a while, like, do we even know how it works? Like, has someone actually figured it out? And then sometimes you Google for it and then people have actually like in KMS or something have actually figured out how something works. And then we can go off of that and yeah, use that as the basis. Because um, like you said it before, like I don't, you don't want to feel like you're getting carried. But well, yeah. But how can you know if you are or not? You know, it's very difficult to get any kind of insight. In you can do a battle analysis, but what if you're more of a supportive class and you're making your party survive? Like you're indirectly um, giving them a lot of damage, right? And speeding up the run. So how do you really know? And how is that feeling really justified or not? So yeah, it just comes down to doing the run a bunch of times. And if someone's like, "Yo, you saved my ass like three times." Um, and I would have died out otherwise, then you know, like, oh shit, like, I'm adding a lot of value, like, and maybe your your damage numbers aren't that high. But like a Kano who knows exactly what they're doing, does good domains, binds everything on point, but doesn't ha even have enough ID and only hits once, that person can still carry their weight or maybe even carry the run if they know what they're doing. So, yeah, you, you gotta, like, know where to look and then know what to use as a benchmark to see if you're, um, if you're doing well, I guess. Yeah, but as Adele, it's, uh, 
I feel like it's pretty black and white. But <laughs> yeah, the yeah. shell can help in some situations, right? If you use the green shield, uh -huh. sometimes you can... Uh, maybe if someone was going to die to a bomb, you can you can save them if the green shield is there or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, you're pretty much... You're there. Um, maybe golem clear and normal lucid, right? That's, um, that's maybe a little bit more of a thing that you can... Uh, you can excel at, but the other thing will be like if you don't die and you put out a lot of damage, that helps the other team, you know, get through the boss run faster. Something like hard will, um, it, the shorter the boss run is, the you know, the fewer the amount of times where they could die. So then that's the way that you support the team as well. So every you know everyone does their part. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, it's just like like you said, like you can't really tell. If it's hard. Carrying yeah, it's hard. Or, or like if you're yeah. actually doing your share of the work. But I feel like, um, I guess it's like a feeling, I guess, mm -hmm. when like you try to like solo it after or something. Or yeah, like, and it's like, not moving the bar at all. You can be yeah, like, but like, hmm. well, the problem is you're not only going to do like one fifth or one sixth of the damage. It's because that's how much damage you would do if you had all the party buffs on top of what you have. So you're probably only going to do like 10% or something of what you would do alone. And, you know, if it's a if it's a 10 minute boss, you know, in the party, then it's a 100 minute boss by yourself. That factor is really, really... <laughs> Mm -hmm. That really kicks you, so yeah, it's, it's sometimes hard to tell if, yeah, that's why we have to go by the numbers a little bit, and then you know you have to overrule uh -huh. your feelings with the numbers, which isn't always easy. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, uh, I wish you the best of luck, and uh, thank you for uh, you know soaking up all the knowledge like a sponge. Yeah, thanks. I'll uh, be sure to. I mean, I don't know about soaking it up, but I'll be, <laughs> I'll check the VOD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, times, so. yeah, yeah, R repetition yeah, is the... <laughs> I'll be, I don't want to act like, you know, I just, yeah, got it. Um, yeah, yeah, got yeah. it, yeah. Thank you, yeah, thanks so much for uh, taking your time, man. Yeah, really no, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man, and uh, shoot us a link when you get that ASMR channel rolling, okay? Oh, yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. I mean, I stream on Twitch, but I'm playing MapleStory while streaming on Twitch lately, so you'll fall asleep. Oh, right, instantly. nice. Yeah, do it, like, right in the away. evening hours so people can just tune yeah, in yeah, to... Nah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem. See you around. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Look at this guy being so strong. He was glad that even though he was already pretty strong, pretty far into the game, but he could explain some of the things in the game, that, like the underlying systems, give him a little bit better understanding of IED and everything, why it's so important, how it's, how it's calculated. Because sometimes you don't really want to occupy yourself with that because it's like why do i care about those numbers but even if you don't know exactly the number and you, you just know how to work a calculator it'll give you better insight into being like this is why it's important in the first place and then the next time a patch comes out and it's like this is going to change you can think like oh wait, wait i remember that that thing was important and there's a change coming so i need to you know put up my feelers and start thinking like okay uh, or start listening to some people like hey how is this going to affect it then at least you can know what is going to be impactful and if you have to do anything in the first place. And then you can also play with more of a sense of freedom, like um, there might not be a whole bunch of things that you're missing out at all time. You'll feel like you have a little bit of a better grasp of, of prioritizing which things are important to know about and which things are just not really consequential for your situation. So that can help a lot with that. With that being said, if you guys like this session, I'm glad. If you would like one for yourself as well, check the description of the video. And I'm live on Twitch as always. We have a New Year stream. Happy New Year to all the people in Australia and almost to the people. Um, I guess like the Middle East is coming up uh, in. That's uh, uh, like six hours away. But um, yeah, thanks for watching on YouTube. Bye, YouTube. And hi, Twitch chat.